Hey everyone, it's Matt from Tar Heel Digging. I'm out here, it's Saturday morning, and uh, I'm out kind of near Harmonica Hill, and I'm over in a spot where I found that Abraham Lincoln presidential token, which is only a few yards from here. So I'm down in the thick stuff, as you, as you can tell. Some of these uh, plants are not real fun to work around, but anyway, I got a decent signal down here, maybe uh, three inches down, and I just popped this out. First signal of the day, first dig. Looks like an old oil lamp piece. And I'm kind of hoping I can get a date off of that end piece there. Quite often you can get a date and a manufacturing date on those. Looks pretty old though. Pretty cool. All right, we're off to a good start. Well, I got up underneath some of those roots, guys. I had a nice 1240. A little bit of a scraggly signal, but I pulled this up. And it looks like a, a rivet, bro brass rivet with some leather still still in it there. Definitely period. Pretty awesome. Okay gang, I just wanted to get this signal recorded. It's a pretty strong signal and uh, anytime you're out relic hunting, this, this is exactly the type of signal you're looking for. This is a real strong, let's see, 1231, 1232, Really solid at 12.32, 11.32. So we'll dig it and see what we've got. Well, it wasn't all that far down. I thought it was a shotgun shell at first, but I wiped it off a little bit. And I don't think it's a shotgun shell, guys. What do you think? I don't know, it looks like there might be some writing or some stars around the outside. I don't know, that might be something pretty neat, so I'm going to put it in the pouch and bring it on home, see if I can identify it. might be just as simple as a broken rivet, but it could be more than that. Well, there you go. Can't come to Harmonica Hill without finding at least a piece of harmonica reed, right? There it is. That was a big one, too. See if I can find the rest of that one. Okay, about six inches down in that hole, harmonica reed number two on the day. And that's a whole one there. Well, this came out of that hole right down there, about four inches down. Giving me a decent brass signal, obviously a big item. I thought I'd dig it. I have no idea what that's for. I like it, though. All right, about uh, four inches down in that hole. Had a, a weird kind of a garbly signal, 1127 is what it was, and this popped out. I just cleaned it up and thought first maybe it was a salt and pepper shaker lid, but I'm not so sure now. Some detail on the top there. Looks like there was a, a hinge back here and then a little latch here. So I'm not sure what it what it's from, but I think it's pretty cool looking. So we're going to clean it up. Well, here's one gang that was really strange. Gave me a 1843 and a 1941 on the E-Track. But it was pretty steady with the signal, so I thought, well, I've got to dig this and see what it is. So I dug it and cleaned it off, and that's what it is. Now, I'm not sure exactly what it was used for, but I think it's pretty neat looking. So we're going to take that home and clean it up. Well, it looks like the clouds have moved in. I'm not sure uh, what the weather is supposed to be like. The radar was clear when I left home. Well, we'll stay and we'll stay and find out what's going to be like. But it's nice and cool right now with that breeze. It feels good. Anyway, I'm back in here, guys. Um, got a signal of 1111, about four inches down. Thought it was going to be another shotgun shell, but I always dig them. And I think this is going to be piece from an oil lamp. That's just a guess at this point. All right, we'll keep rolling. Well, gang, I think this is the top to a compact lid. It's very ornate. Definitely old. Thought it was just a mason jar lid at first, but it's not. It's really delicate. It's thin, kind of coming apart. It's going to be tricky to clean. But we'll see what it looks like. 
just popped a shotgun shell out of that hole, guys, and also eyeballed this little piece of blue gra uh, glass. It looks fairly old. Sure wish it was all in one piece. Sweet. Well, here's one that came right from the base of that tree, about four inches down. Gave me a 1229 on the E-Track. Looks like a little brass thimble. Let's see if I can get that to focus for you. That's really cool. It's in pretty decent shape, too. All right, we'll see what it looks like cleaned up. Okay, here's a quick wrap-up from today's hunt, folks. This is a, a, a real quick hunt, but it was a good time out there today. The weather behaved for me quite nicely. Found a lot of nice little old relics. No coins, no coins today, but a lot of nice old relics. I really like this, uh, this old lantern piece. So I'm going to have to clean this up some more. This, the sand on here is like concrete. Uh, I think some time in electrolysis might be needed on this one. And I do believe there's going to be a date on the end of this knob. I see a word where it says patent. And that usually means there's going to be a date on there somewhere. So I'm going to try and clean that up best I can and get a date. And that's something you can always remember. When you find one of these lantern pieces, always look at the end there. You might be able to find a date on it. Here's that large iron piece with the two rings on it. Brought that back. I thought that was a pretty neat thing. That, that should look out, uh, turn out pretty good after electrolysis. We'll see how that turns out. Um, here's a, that compact lid cover. I did some brief cleaning on it with uh, some brush and some soap and water. But uh, you can definitely see there's a pattern on there of some kind. Uh, and then there's this little piece. I'm not really sure what this was used for, but there's a, a hinge piece back there. And definitely a latch right here. So it, it hinged and, and went up like that and then came down and latched. I don't know what they kept in here. Some kind of potter or, or something. Who knows for sure. But I thought that was really neat. Very ornate. Um, here's that little piece. This is probably a lantern part as well. The wick may have come up through the middle there. Uh, this huge brass piece here, this double hook thing, I'm not sure exactly what this was used for, but uh, it's really heavy. It's massive. And it's very, very uh, heavily constructed. I thought that was pretty neat. And then there's that little brass thimble. I thought that was pretty neat. There's still some sand on the end of it. I might need to do some electrolysis on this as well. Definitely an old, old thimble. Um, here's that... Uh, I don't know exactly what this is yet. I, I didn't get any, any, wor any, any verbiage or anything off the front of it here. It looks like the backing for a pin or something like that. But I, I don't know. It's hard to say. A couple of rivets, a couple of modern bullets. And, of course, I can't leave Harmonica Hill without a couple of harmonica reeds, right? Man, I can't believe how many I've found out there. I'll give you a picture and show you how many harmonica reeds I have found up on Harmonica Hill. It's pretty crazy. But anyway, had a great time today. The weather cooperated. Got a new spot in mind for next weekend, guys, so stay tuned. Uh, can't wait to get out there and check it out. So hope you all are out finding some good things. Take care, everyone.